Hello everyone, I'm Brian Walker from Five Stones Media. Today I want to talk about search engine optimization and .NET Nuke. Uh, a lot of you know, people out there saying that .NET Nuke is not a good platform for search engine optimization. Uh, I've got sites for my clients that will prove them very wrong. Uh, out of the box, it is a bit lacking. There's a couple of issues with it, but these are things that can be easily taken care of. It's no different than, you know, say WordPress. WordPress out of the box does not have a lot of the features included that you need. You have to, you know, add on, add in plugins like, uh, you know, Yoast or uh, All-in-One SEO. I use both platforms in my business. We build websites in .NET Nuke and WordPress. Uh, I personally prefer .NET Nuke. Uh, so uh, I know I'm going to get some haters for that comment. Uh, I'm sure that we'll get plenty of comments on the video about that, possibly on the blog too. And uh, you know, express your opinion. Uh, I'm fine with that. The video today is going to uh, be broken into two parts. Part one is going to be basic search engine optimization and .NET Nuke. This is you know what you would do with .NET Nuke, kind of out of the box. It's when you're you're not uh, aggressively doing search engine optimization. Um, you know, if you're in a field that's not very competitive, I do have some clients that, you know, we have just simply added some title tags and meta descriptions to their website, and they're doing great because they're not in a really competitive industry. If you get into something more competitive, uh, you know, say, uh, you know, you're an attorney, or especially things like real estate, um, or if you just have competition that's fighting for that top spot in Google, uh, and you need to beat them, then there are things that you're gonna need to do to your website. Those things are gonna come in part two of the video. Part one, I'm gonna talk about things like your title tags, your meta descriptions, keywords, uh, and uh, canonical URLs. Uh, part two, we're gonna get a little more advanced. So let's go ahead and dive in. What we're looking at here is the Five Stones Media website. Uh, it is a .NET Nuke website. It is built in .NET Nuke uh, version 7. It's one of the earlier versions of 7 we will be updating because they just released 7.1, which has some nice features when it comes to search engine optimization. But uh, yeah, this is the home page. If you go to your pages and then page settings, uh, then you will see here where you add your title tags and your meta description. Up here where it says page name, this is what is going to show in your navigation. This is the, uh, the tab name uh, or the name in the menu. Right here, this is your page title. If we look up here at the top left of the screen, you'll see when I hover over this, you see your page title. Uh, that is one of the uh, uh, very important parts of search engine optimization is getting good page titles in. You want to have your keywords in there. Uh, it is also what people see when they're doing a Google search. And I'll give you an example here. We'll just search for Web Design Hammond, Louisiana. And you'll see in your uh, uh, organic SEO listing, or, or your organic search results here, the title tag is what shows up right here where it says Five Stones Media LLC, Web Design Hammond, LA. And then your meta de description is what's going to show up right here in the black text. So you want to put in a good page title that includes your keywords. You want to have a meta description that also has your keywords. These are very th easy things to do. You can do these for each individual page of your website. And uh, as far as keywords go, it is best practice now to not use keywords at all. Uh, Google has come out, uh, all of the major search engines have come out and said that they do not use the, uh, the, the keyword tag anymore uh, for, uh, you know, for producing search results. The other thing that you're going to want to consider, especially if you are using .NET Nuke out of the box, is to use something that they call canonical URLs. And a canonical URL is a little snippet of code that uh, would be in the, uh, the head of your website and in the head tags. And basically it says, this is the URL that I want to use for this page. I don't care what URL you used to get to the page, this is the one that I want to be used 
to represent this page. And in .NET Nuke, the place where you would put that is you can go to Pages and Page Settings. Go to your Advanced Settings tab. And then right here under Page Header Tags, you're going to want to put this canonical URL. And this, uh, this little snippet of code will be in the video uh, description and also in the, uh, the description on the blog on our website. So you can copy that and put that into your pages. Now, right here, of course, you're going to want to change this out to be your own domain name. And you're going to want to use this on almost every page of your website. There are a couple exceptions to where you don't want to use this on your website. You're not going to want to use this on your blog page. And I'll tell you why. On the blog page, you're going to be using a module. And that module is going to open up all of your blogs uh, basically on that same page. Now it'll be a different URL, but it's the same page of the website. The website, you know, .NET Nuke does not create a new page for every one of these blogs that get entered. It uses, you know, in my case, fivestonesmedia.com forward slash blog. And I'll show you if I click here. The module just builds the URL. You know, it makes it blog forward slash and then, you know, the the rest of the URL. Uh, in this case, it's the, the blog title. The problem is that if on my blog page I put a canonical URL, then it would show that canonical URL code on every single one of my blog posts. And we don't want that because if you do that, then the search engines are not going to index all of these other pages. The one that they're going to index is going to be fivestonesmedia.com forward slash blog or whatever the canonical URL is that you have in there. So be very careful, depending on the module that you have on the page, about using canonical URLs. You want to use them on all your main pages of your website, but if you have a blog, and then like in our case, under workshops, we have a calendar, and that calendar has many different events on it, it's the same thing. We don't want canonical URLs because we want all of the events from that page to, uh, to be indexed by the search engines. The other thing that you want to do is you want to use uh, your H1 tags. Now the H1 would be the header on the page, uh, you know, like this right here. This would be an H1 tag. Now in most cases, you are going to want to have your keyword in your H1, but you also want your website to make sense to people and not just search engines. So if it makes sense to get your keyword into your H1, then definitely do that. Uh, also, it's good practice to only have one H1 tag per page of your website. So these are the very basic things of search engine optimization and .NET Nuke. We're approaching 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video. And uh, in part two, we're gonna talk about some of the advanced things that you really need to do if you want to, uh, to, to really rank well in the search engines.